everyone, so I'm going to be doing a video for you on what I think um, are essentials for uh, baby's bath time. And these are just things that I've picked up or been gifted along the way um, just to prepare for our little boy's first bath. And um, yeah, so I hope it's helpful in any case for the things that you may need to be picking up for your little newborn or, um, or even your baby, that, like a little bit older as well and um, the reason why I'm doing it kind of a vlog style is because I still haven't found a great setup for filming um, just yet because I've been a little bit busy but in any case I will get right on into filming baby essentials for bath time. So the first thing that I have um, is this Skip and Hop company. It's the Dunk Stacking Bath Toys. I like that they're toys, but they're also great for sort of washing your baby's hair. Um, that way that you can um, kind of prevent the water from going into their face or getting any soap in their eyes, that sort of thing. So I really like these. One other thing I think is essential are these Wee Blocks. Um, I know at bath time especially, um, little boys um, like to have little little accidents <laughs> so um, I don't want to get sprayed on. I liked this style other than the um, TP ones like the little cone ones because I think this is more like a cup. I think it looks a little bit more sturdy. My husband preferred this one over the other ones. Um, I think me because it looks like you know like a sport cup like he ha he wears like the cups for hockey so yeah it's a little bit more heavier um, in like weight too so I think that that's good but we bought the Wee Block and it's Tinkle Tinkle Little Star is what it says on the, the top part but yeah I think this is pretty essential I mean other, otherwise we like, could use a washcloth every time but I thought that was pretty cute so um, the next thing that I have is the baby bath I really like this one um, specifically because it can fold I was gifted one of those big plastic ones um, that I just don't think is very practical for us just because I think it's, it's just there's nowhere for me to put it and I love that this I can just hold it up and put it under the sink or in a basket or anything like that and um, it does have a head support on it whereas the other one doesn't it's just literally like a big plastic tub um, and you can travel with this which is great as well so I think that overall this is like the best purchase for a bath I got this at Snuggle Bugs, but you can get these just about anywhere. I paid, what did I pay? I thought I saw the price on here. At Snuggle Bugs, this was $24.99. And I don't, I'm sure it has like weight stuff somewhere. But I, I remember my nephews using something similar to this. And it lasted um, them a, a very long time. So, um, I don't know, maybe it's nice to have both for when... No, I feel like once they get older, but they'll be sitting up and you can actually transition into taking, like, normal baths. But, um, yeah, so this is definitely one of my favorites for... Definitely not essential by any means, <laughs> because... Um, not for a while anyways it's a zero plus but regardless like if you know he's newborn or not like you will need to get something like this eventually so I went ahead and got it now um it's the same company as the um dunk like the dunk um stacking bath toys and this I believe yeah it was $15.99 at snuggle bugs and you can get these just about anywhere too. But um, I really liked the whale. You're going to make this impossible, aren't you? Aren't you? Go get your toy. Get your. I bought this at Snuggle Bugs as well. It's the Olivia Naturals 2 in 1 Hair and Body Wash. This is supposed to be all natural. I wish I didn't buy this at Snuggle Bugs. I don't know what I paid for it, but it exploded. So the whole thing is like really sticky. But I know that the pump is like a, it's a foam wash. I like the two-in-one, so it's um, convenient. They can use it for hair and body. But um, 
these are made, this is made in Canada. I just, I wanted to try it, so we'll see how that goes. Some washcloths. I think that these are essential, um, most definitely, for having a bath, but um, I actually need to buy some more because I don't have enough washcloths. I need to get the smaller ones as well. So that is on my list to do still. This is not essential, but it's just nice to have is a little baby bathrobe. Um, if you if you plan on doing swim classes or anything like that to get out of the house, uh, like mommy and me swim classes, then um, it's nice to have as well because you'll be able to take it to the pool. But this is Carter's, and it's zero to nine months. It has a little puppy puppy dog hood on it, but it's very it's just a tiny little tiny little robe. And it has a little belt on it. I like that it's from zero to nine months. But um, I thought that was really cute. So that's that. Um, he already has his first pair of swim trunks. This is, but it's only like it's from three to six months, so it's not newborn. Um, but three months is probably when we'll start going and doing some sort of activity like that. He also has a wash guard. Um, it doesn't match or anything, but that's okay. Um, he has this in two sizes, three to six months and then six to nine months, I think. But it's cold here, so. So this is a baby cream that you would put on after they get out of the bath. And it's the same company as the Belly Jelly. It's by Substance, it's, but I'm pretty sure it's the Matter Company. And I got it at Snuggle Bugs. And, um... It's not, it's not that big of a size. It's only four ounces, so um, it's kind of expensive just for that. But we'll see how that goes. I like that it's all natural ingredients, and it's it smells light and fresh. It's not hev heavily fragranced or anything like that. So that's that. I also have this was gifted to me. I'm, but you can get this just about anywhere. It's the Lactane um, body and hair cleansing gel. And it's not the foam. So I have a foam one and a gel one. So just two different kinds. And this one isn't fragranced that much as well. I like the packaging on this. It's quite cute. Um, I also have from the same company as the lotion um, some nappy rash ointment for just in case you need it. But this is a travel sized one. And this for travel size is $7.99. I just wanted to try it out. The consistency of it, it's more like a Vaseline. I'm not sure if I can open this. But it's like a gloss. Here. There you are. just looks like a bomb. I also have the Bum Bum Saw, but that is in my bag to be... Oops. <laughs> That's in the bag for the my hospital bag. That present. It also comes in a tin like this, but it's I don't think it's the same company. I also bought a hairbrush. This is, I'm not sure if it'll have hair or not, but whenever they get out of their hair, the bath, their hair sticks up a lot. So it's just to brush it down. It's a soft bristle one. This was from Babies R Us. The last thing is the avocado soap bar, and it's all natural, and it's for sensitive skin. I just wanted to try the difference between, like, if I like using the bars or the gel or the, the foam. So... That, that and this I also got at Snuggle Bugs, but I don't know how much it costs.